हाय गुड इवनिंग एवरीबडी हाय गुड इवनिंग एवरीबडी आई होप माय वॉइस इज क्लियर इफ माय वॉइस इज क्लियर प्लीज गिव मी अ थम्स अप गुड इवनिंग खुशी गुड इवनिंग चांदनी एनीबडी कैन से दैट माय वॉइस इज क्लियर बाय जस्ट गिविंग मी अ थम्स अप हेलो प्रतीक्षा थैंक यू प्रतीक्षा सो द वॉइस इज क्लियर गुड इवनिंग रिशांक थैंक यू आयान हेलो सोनू थैंक यू सो मच फॉर जॉइनिंग इन एंड वी हैव अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक अबाउट हाउ टू सेट अप अ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी लैब थैंक यू खुशी थैंक यू रिशांक थैंक यू आयान थैंक यू मसूद एंड थैंक यू चांदनी सो योर वी वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड ऑफ हाउ टू सेटअप अ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी लैब क्योंकि लैब मार्केट में जब हम देखते हैं तो माइक्रोबायोलॉजी का एज सच लैब बहुत कम होता है आई मीन एवरीबडी इज डूइंग बायो केमिस्ट्री एवरीबडी इज डूइंग हिमेटोलॉजी एवरी थिंग बट माइक्रोबायोलॉजी एज सच पीपल आर नॉट डूइंग सो वॉट्स एंड नॉट मेनी इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी आर गिवन ऑन अ डेली बेसिस फॉर लाइक कल्चर और माइक्रोस्कोपी और रूटीन ग्राम स्टेनिंग ऐसे हम नहीं देखते कि ऐसा होता है तो द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग वील अंडरस्टैंड टूडे इज दैट इज माइक्रोबायोलॉजी लैब सेटिंग अप दैट डिफिकल्ट और इज इट ईजी सो वील हैव अर एक्सपर्ट डॉक्टर जयेश वराडे विद अस ही हेल्प अस एंड ही हैज बीन हेल्पिंग अस द स्टूडेंट्स द ऑडियंस Uh, with the previous lectures on how to set up a basic lab how to set up an rt pcr lab and this to this day today we'll discuss how to set up a microbiology lab so pratiksha left hand side is saying that i am doing my bachelor's in microbiology so definitely this will be an important topic for you so we would welcome dr jayesh on live with us so that he can put some his important points expertise and experience on board Hello, good evening, sir. How are you doing? Good evening, good evening. Hi, hi. So, welcome back, uh, sir. And it is a pleasure, pleasure always to have you. Uh, you always help all of us. So, thoda sa, uh, matlab, you know, the camera, thoda. Yes. So, uh, we have a lot of fan uh, following for you, also, sir. Everybody is welcoming you. So, that's Thank a you. great thing. सर स्टार्टेड सम न्यू वेंचर सो सर आप उसका एक बार थोड़ा बता दीजिए कि आप वो मेटावर्स पे क्या कर रहे हैं क्योंकि मुझे ना डिफिकल्ट होगा स्टूडेंट्स को एक्सप्लेन करने के लिए ओके सो मैं थोड़ा शॉर्ट में बता देता हूँ कि व्हाट इज गोइंग टू बी द फ्यूचर बेसिकली वी हैव एक्सपीरियंस वॉट इज वर्चुअल क्लास ऑलरेडी ड्यूरिंग द पैंडेमिक वी हैव जूम सेशन वी माइक्रोसॉफ्ट टीम we have go to webinar and so many other platforms were there whether we have attended our uh, online classes and uh, basically uh, wo feel nahi aa raha tha tab bhi itna sab kuch hone ke baad jo classroom ka feel nahi aa raha tha so yeah. it is going to be the what metaverse will be it will be like a future of everything uh maybe uh, if you people are following uh, the recent news that recently facebook has uh, been launch uh, the meta now what this meta will be going or what this meta or metaverse will be it will be basically a virtual platforms or virtual classrooms and uh, everything will be virtual or the virtual cinema halls virtual concerts virtual meetings where you and me will not be going but our uh, meta avatars will be going so uh, and uh, there will be some copies of me which will be going there on behalf of me or you and they will be attending the classes so basically this is the <laughs> so again i will tell you this is going uh, even though it looks quite uh, fictitious or maybe very far away it is not that much far away recently one uh, uh, i don't remember some uh, american uh, singer he already hosted his uh, concert on this meta platform and there were all virtual audience and he was singing virtually means his avatar was singing virtually so basically this is going to be the future uh, 
leave all the things for our students and for teachers it will be a virtual classrooms where you need not have to focus on your camera like what we are doing in zoom or microsoft team it will be something virtual space where you will be going as a teacher teachers will be coming with their avatars and they will be teaching so it will be like even if i want to uh, uh, give some punishment in the avatar with to, to my student they can get the punishment in the avatar so now uh, what will be required for this avatar or what will be required in this metaverse there will be required uh, boards like white boards or green boards or black boards what we are using images or pictures in our textbook diagrams so that will be required now from where it will come so basically everything will come from nfts nfts are non fungible tokens so basically this will be all the images diagrams or photographs which will be tokenized tokenized means i will be the owner or somebody who has created he will be a digital owner of this thing and he can sell it to somebody else where it will be used in future in this virtual classrooms or any virtual uh, conferences so basically this is what nft is there so we'll get lot of youtube videos lot of books you can read on this and you can just get involved on this this is everything is going to be on the uh, basically it will everything goes on the ethereum platform which is a platform for blockchain so there are many more platforms are coming maybe you are interested in cryptocurrencies and everything so it's a basically a very all huge thing but even though it looks fictitious is not very far and it's already has entered in our daily routine so uh, maybe the students who are interested in teaching or those who are even in, who are interested in learning they can use this they can uh, put their they can prepare their diagram they can prepare their anything what is required for a, making a actual our classroom diagrams will be required so they can make their own and they can list it they can sell it so basically they can earn lot of money also out of that so this is the what new thing is coming so i am trying to explore it and i am also trying to get some hands on it so let us see how far it goes so that's a great thing uh, matlab mujhe to bahut acha laga sunke so students will be benefited and whatever in any venture where students are benefited that is a great platform to have so students make a note of it aap logo ko kabhi bhi metaverse jana ho to ye sab cheeze hain aur sir bhi hai usme so he will be helping you there two and your two so coming to the topic uh yeah thank you pratiksha uh, pratiksha like the start so you know I, we are happy that the start is good yeah. so uh how so first of all the first question is that microbiology is not given so much of importance in a lab setup considering that not many investigations are asked so is it feasible to set up a microbiology lab yeah and uh, basically uh, microbiology means everything which is related with the infectious organisms they may be viruses they may be bacteria they may be parasites or any other things so we have not taken care of the subject or we have not taken care of the area correctly so now what has happened we have already seen in last two years covid has came and nobody was prepared the laboratory was not prepared to take care of the covid samples to process the covid samples basically covid testing is also a part of microbiology which is done at the molecular level so this right. area was neglected and we have all suffered it and why it is neglected why there are not many investigations from microbiology sites because it is like uh, what we do in biochemistry we do some reactions and we actually doesn't estimate the product itself we do some reactions and we see the ultimate product or we see the final product and we estimate the final product we don't uh, test the actual uh, uh, analyte we do some reaction and we finally check the final product so that happens in biochemistry same thing with hematology also we try to segregate the cells which are already there and we try to separate them and we see those cells actually and then we give the our results or reports but what happens in case of microbiology there are microorganisms which are viruses which are bacteria or which are parasites so 
there is no reaction you cannot do some reactions and you can isolate directly from the blood or any other body fluid you need to first grow them in such a quantity that they will be visible under microscope or they will react to some chemicals and they will produce some reaction so first of all you need to allow them to grow or you need to allow them to multiply now this multiplication times for viruses and bacteria varies it varies from one hour we have still seen in case of staphylococcus aureus which has a multiplication time or replication time of one hour so we have seen even the clostridium tetanus which has a multiplication time of seven days or even microbacterium tuberculosis where the growth may take six weeks also so basically it is a time duration which matters and it requires lot of time to grow this microorganism so that is why it has become a slightly neglected area and people generally don't if uh, we want everything fast so instead of taking blood culture and seeing what organism is growing and then seeing what antibiotic it is susceptible and then after 5 days i am going to treat with some antibiotic yes 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 sir uh, your uh, yeah. case is not coming in time yeah now perfect yeah. sorry to disturb so uh, so after 5 days i am going to get isolate some microorganism from blood and then i am doing some micro antibiotic sensitivity and after 5 days i am going to treat it with some antibiotic so it takes a uh, longer duration so basically what tendency is there for the clinicians why to wait for 5 days i know which antibiotic i am going to use so straight away instead of going for culture they will just prescribe you the antibiotic and instead of going for the investigations he will just treat it with you with his scientific knowledge or maybe preliminary assumptions he will give go he is going to give you some antibiotic treatment but it doesn't basically match with what we uh, do as a evidence based practice so that is why it is slightly neglected area because it takes time to get the reports from microbiology laboratory even the urine culture takes 3 days blood culture takes 7 days 5 days mycobacterium culture takes 6 weeks to 90 days so it varies lot of duration so that is why we can see it is slightly neglected area yeah it is slightly neglected and मार्केट डिमांड इवन पेशेंट ऑल्सो वॉन्ट दम दे वॉन्ट फास्ट ट्रीटमेंट सो इफ सम क्लिनिशियन टेक फाइव डेज सेवन डेज टू जस्ट प्रिस्क्राइब सम मेडिसिन पेशेंट विल ऑल्सो नॉट लाइक इट सो पेशेंट को भी वो अच्छा नहीं लगेगा कि मैं डॉक्टर के पास किसी डॉक्टर के पास जाता हूँ वो मुझे कोई टेस्ट बताता है और फिर पांच दिन बाद छह दिन बाद वो मुझे कोई दवाई देता है तो पेशेंट को भी ये नहीं आ, अच्छा लगता दे वॉन्ट एवरीथिंग फास्ट मैं अगर किसी डॉक्टर के पास जाता हूँ मुझे कोई दवाई लिख के दे और मुझे दो दिन में आराम मिल जाए सो so, यही सबका बेसिक एम होता है तो जैसे पेशेंट आते हैं उस हिसाब से डॉक्टर अपना प्रोटोकॉल फॉलो करें yes everything is rapid he want yeah. everything fast and the, fast. yeah and the i mean uh, the thing that i don't like in this matlab uh, as a third person jab main jaati hu main dekhti hu you know blood culture ke liye it takes so much of blood then it has to yeah. be properly taken no contamination ek to itna blood bhi le lete hain matlab i feel ki kitna ek to baad mein aur time lagega uske baad aapko organism milega uske baad aap decide karoge probably it's an important thing but more important when it's an ipd setup or a hospital setup where it is actually required not for an outpatient setup so if we set only a microbiology lab then does it help it doesn't help uh, but uh, see uh, even though today there are many clinicians who practice on scientific basis or evidence based medicine they need some proof see what is happening uh, clinicians are writing uh, haphazard antibiotic and we are knowing now what is happening there is antibiotic resistance so unless and until we isolate proper organism we see the proper sensitivity and we give the actual correct and point at the to the point antibiotic this resistance is going to be more and more severe antibiotic resistance what everybody is uh, speaking nowadays antibiotic resistance antibiotic 
it has come from the same thing because we don't wait for the evidence which antibiotic i need to use and before that i start a broad spectrum spectrum 2 3 antibiotics i will start and i will try to get the result so what will happen in initial days maybe you are getting results but the same thing may, will not happen even in future even with antibiotic uh, mycobacter microorganism isolation and culture we will not be able to have any antibiotic that will make effect in the treatment so uh, basically though it takes time it is only the proper protocol or it is only the correct way to deal with any type of infection so even if you are getting 15 ml of blood and even if you are waiting 5 days the basically the protocol if you follow it will be beneficial for everybody in future and otherwise anyways we are seeing the effects of antibiotic resistance and there is a stage there are stages when the patient doesn't respond to any of the antibiotic because he is already having so many antibiotics and the resistance has developed so finally we are only going to suffer so it is like that if we have some patients we few show some patients now it will be beneficial for us in future and maybe our future generations so basically patients is the perfect medicine over here uh biochemistry basic is saying very nice evidence based medicine is the need of the hour thank you so much and um, linus 28th is saying that even many rapid cart tests have come in microbiology mm, but uh, there is no uh, i think so can explain better there is no option for a culture uh, test i mean to grow See, hona, uh, there are rapid cart test for hiv hbv hcv which we can see is routinely used now even for covid there are home test kit so people are using it and additionally there are rapid cart test for many of the other bacteria like you can do staphylococcus you can do mycoplasma so there are again ranges but the issue or the problem in this is acceptability from the clinician side and even though these are rapid cart test they may not be able to catch the infection in early stages because they need a certain minimum uh concentration of the bacteria or some mix, minimum or uh, colony or maybe some minimum uh, number of the bacilli which needs to be react with the cards so even though there are rapid cart test they are not acceptable till now they have low sensitivity they have low specificity our users are not trained that much to use those rapid cards and these rapid cards uh there are chances they will miss the early infection because uh, you need a certain minimum number of bacilli to get catch in this uh, rapid cart test so even though there are rapid cart test they may give some initial ideas but uh, they are not conclusive so the basically unless and until you isolate the organism uh, there is nothing conclusive okay so that was a nice explanation and uh, little soft is asking ma'am after msc microbiology job kaun si mil sakti hai job kaun si mil sakti hai dm karo uske liye usme answer milega uh there is one more question okay air shank is asking something on dissertation please dm so uh, how uh, sir now we come to the main core question agar hum logo ko microbiology lab set up karni hai to how do we set up so again so we will come to how to set up a microbiology laboratory now it is the laboratory uh, which require specific segregation of all the areas because as we have already, as i have already told microbiology includes bacteriology it includes mycology that means the growth of the fungus mycobacterium and parasites so there are four five divisions it comes into microbiology and all those areas should be segregated from each other so to set a proper microbiology laboratory maybe you need a area of around 400 square feet 400 to 500 square feet maybe i will say is the minimum area which is required where you should have a first of all a bacteriology room then you can have a mycology room then you can have 
one uh, staining room where you uh, you are going to see the slides. You are going to stain the gram stains or AFP stains. And if you are going to practice mycobacterium, again it requires a dedicated space of around three hundred square feet because there also you need to have segregation of room. First, maybe receiving of samples. Second, maybe the isolation or the culture of the uh, mycobacterium. And third is the isolation. So. Mycobacterium area itself requires a segregated area. Bacteriology is a a part where you should have a culture facility. Maybe you can have automated culture systems, or maybe you can do the cultures manually. So again, it requires a separate area. But once a mycobacterium is grown, or once a bacteria are grown, you need to study them in. by safety cabinet so all these areas required by safety cabinet separately so bacteriology will require a separate by safety cabinet mycology will require a separate by safety cabinet mycobacterium will require a separate by safety cabinet so we need at least three by safety cabinet in a microbiology laboratory you need to have culture system maybe automated if you you can have automated or if you can offer a automated culture system which cost around 8 to 10 lakhs minimum or you can have just a incubator where you can do all the procedures manually so incubator may cost around 90000 to 1 lakh where you can have the temperature control and all that so a uh, bio safety cabinet three bio safety cabinet we have told one culture system i have told which may be manual or uh, automated culture system urine culture system now there are automated urine culture systems also where you can do a uh, automated urine culture and report you can get uh, minimum one hour as what we are speaking about the duration so there are uh, urine culture systems which can give you results within one hour just like our biochemistry or hormone test so there are systems available for urine culture so instead of waiting for 3 days or 2 days to get the negative report the positive report or negative report can be confirmed from one hour to four hour so there are automated urine culture there are sensitivity uh, automated sensitivity equipment where you can do antibiotic sensitivity automatic Uh, on automated platform or you can go for the manual plat so a microbiology laboratory you need segregation one for bacteriology one for mycology and one for mycobacterium so three areas we need one area we need exclusively for staining where you are going to stain the slides gram stain on afb stains and you are going to use with with the microscope so these are the things next is you may require a phase contrast microscope where you are going to see some uh, organisms which are basic uh, specifically seen only under phase contrast like trypanosoma pallidum you need only phase contrast microscope then only you can uh, they are visible so a phase contrast microscope may be required so again the other things are depending upon the what level you want to go one more important thing is there regarding the culture plates now culture plates again there are two types one is you can make the culture plate in house with the help of culture uh, you need to have ster ster uh, uh, sterilization autoclave when you will uh, to prepare the culture plate or you can have ready made culture plates so culture plates if you are going to manufacture or if you are going to make it in house you need a segregated area for the preparation of culture plate because this area should be completely sterile otherwise they may, it may get contaminated and your reports all will be contaminated so a segregated area for preparation of the media may be required if you are planning to make all the medias in house if you are not planning to make it in house maybe you can get and just buy some uh, ready made culture media so this is basically a microbiology setup where you will require for the as per the specialty uh, sir uh... how many uh, minimum staff should we have see as uh, we know microbiology is not that heavily uh, burden or the volumes are not much getting for a small laboratory getting 5 to 10 culture samples per day is more than enough or even for a bigger or big laboratories getting 5 50 to 60 culture samples per day is uh, is what we can expect or it's not more than that so uh, to operate a complete microbiology laboratory with 
what I have told with mycology, mycobacterium, bacteriology, and gram staining. I think uh, seven to eight staff will be sufficient because microbiology don't require night duty staff. Once you have put the culture plates or once you have put the culture waters into the systems, it doesn't require that somebody should come and do some testing at night. You can come in the morning and you can do the testing. So it doesn't require a night duty staff. So for routine operations of our day laboratory, maybe six to eight staff is sufficient to operate. Okay. Uh, there's one question from Linus twenty eight zero zero seven. Which microbiology investigation we can sign? Microbiology investigations. Uh, see, I think this question keeps on coming on with our every session. So I will again request, please check your local guidelines. Please check your uh, uh, regulatory authority guidelines from state as well as your national bodies and follow the same because whatever are the guidelines you need to follow from the state as well as our national guidelines. Uh, there is no alternative. As far as possible, I will say those who are competent to sign or those who are competent to give result or report they can sign it but you need to demonstrate your competency that you are going you are able to identify the organism properly you are able to identify the colonies properly you are able to identify the parasites properly under microscope so basically a competency is must rather than uh, what is allowed and what is not allowed a competency is must you may be allowed for with the regulatory body but if you are not competent then again it is not good and if you are not competent and still your regulatory body is allowing you to sign, so that's again is not good. So basically in both the way, you should be competent. This is the first thing and then see the regulatory body guidance. First of all, be competent, see how you can do, be skillful and then only you see how, what you can do and what you can not do. Very well put up, sir. This answer. Har baar ye question aata hai. So Har baar ye question aata hai. Isliye maine kaha ki pehle skillful bano, competent bano, aur fir uske baad kya ho sakta hai, kya nahi ho sakta hai. See, once you are skillful and competent, once you can show the competency, I don't think even regulatory bodies or any other bodies can stop you. So please uh, try to focus on skills and try to focus on competency rather than what you can do or what you cannot do from the uh, your uh, cohorts or who is speaking or who, who is saying what who is saying please ignore it first concentrate on competency and skill <laughs> sir was very assertive ignore it whatever people are saying first concentrate on competency and skill yeah. very nice uh, there's one thing that Spurti is saying that we know microbiology have many streams like industrial microbiology, diagnostics, etc. Which is the best one to select? Spurti is something that you have to DM kar You can DM. Uh, uh, so, sir. Uh, like we earn money, like it's an important question. So, do yeah, 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 yeah. When we set up microbiology, as I have told, it is a neglected area, so competition is less, and you can earn a good amount of money. There is good scope, there are good volumes. Please try to adopt new techniques, please try to learn new techniques in microbiology, and you need to something. You need to put something innovative in the market. Surely you can make money. So only if we have microbiology lab, then also it works. Yeah, yeah, it works. I have seen some of the good laboratories which works or which performs only microbiology tests, not even the serology part. Only the cultures and all these people are good. They are running it quite successfully. And from many years. Yeah, yeah, and from many years. Good. Anybody has any questions or does anybody want to come up and ask any questions directly to sir regarding any laboratory practice that you would want to uh, is more than welcome. You can ask your questions. You can come on uh, live also.
Anybody has any questions? Am I audible, uh, visible, or anything? Okay. I think there's some problem. That is why Sir might have left. He would join us again in a few minutes. Uh, so we we'll wait till then. Uh, those who ever, those who had uh, uh, questions related to career and questions related to their uh, research, they can DM and they can set up a counseling session with me, and you will be helped over there. So, sir has sent a request again. Anybody, any more questions, please put it in the chat box or you can come directly in the live. So, uh, sir, any last message that you would want to give to the students? See, uh, for microbiology laboratory, the last message is, first of all, your safety is very important. In microbiology laboratory, safety is very important. Please follow all the personal protective equipments, masks, caps, gloves, or PPE kits, whatever is there. Please follow the safety precaution because microbiology is the only area where there is a maximum chances of getting infections. May it be TB or maybe it's some other bacterial infection or maybe some fungal infections or maybe some viral infection also. So the most important thing in microbiology laboratory is the personal safety. Those who are working in the laboratory, personal safety is very important. So please follow all the safety measures while working in microbiology laboratory. The second important thing, microbiology has good scope. Microbiology laboratory, vast area is there. There are many things to explore. Those who really want to explore new things or those who are really energetic, those who want to take some new challenges, Microbiology is the ideal option because biochemistry, if you go in the market out of 195 people are 95 people are doing only biochemistry, the rest of the four are doing hematology, only one person will be doing microbiology. So microbiology, there is a huge scope and those who are interested or those who have even those who have some business concept, please come to microbiology, they will pull a lot of money into microbiology. So these are the two things I have told. One is safety. And please don't ignore microbiology. There is a good scope in microbiology and it is an unexplored area where you can have a good foundation. If you are only interested in microbiology, then only do it. Otherwise, you know, it is all pink, purple and blue only. The entire thing is pink, purple, blue. Your life is in that. So if you're not interested, then don't do it. If you're yeah, yeah, that's then always... Then very the important. interest come first. The interest come first. You should be interested in what you are going to choose. So that is more important. Because then they are smelling it and then मुझे लगता है ये ये है so it's like मुझे लगता है मुझे लगता है so it, it becomes difficult at that time difficult so yes so any any more questions that we have uh, anybody who wants to ask any questions who wants to come on live and ask directly questions to sir regarding any setup any laboratory is more than welcome otherwise we are uh, calling it a day hello Suresh so uh, sir no more questions and uh, everything was answered and everything is left. So Suresh is saying hello to you as well. Hello, hello. Good evening. So uh, uh, it was a very good session, an eye-opener for microbiology because generally we do not see stand-up-alone labs for microbiology as such. And uh, it gives you good money. There's no night shift that is required. So there is no emergency situation. Yeah, there is and no emergency. And uh, Pratiksha from Left Hand Side is uh, like very happy about the session. She is saying that it's crystal clear today. So uh, happy students, happy all of us. So we find uh, we, we all are happy. And on that note, we'll end the session. Thank you, sir, for being with us. So we'll thank be you, with, with us in the next session also next month where we'll again see which lab is to be set up. So if you have any particular questions of this lab and that lab, so let us know and we'll take up that. Okay. So. 
थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू बाय बाय